Okay, in this video I'm going to show you another way of working out the nth term of a quadratic sequence. So a quadratic sequence is something in the form an squared plus bn plus c. So a number, then n squared, a number, then an n, and then a number by itself. I'm going to show you why it works. Um, so I'm going to show you the proof of this method before I move on to using it. So you don't have to know how to do this. You just have to know how to use it. So what I'm going to do is firstly, I'm going to generate the sequence in general terms. So with A, B and C still in it. So I'm not going to give numbers to them. And I'm going to generate the first three terms of the sequence. So the first term of the sequence is when N equals one. So A times when N is one, A times one squared, A times one is just A. And then I've got B times one, which is just B. And then I've got a C by itself. So that's the first term of the sequence. The second term is when N equals two. So it's A times two squared, which is four. So four A, A times four is four A. B times two is two B. And I've got a C by itself again. The third term is when N equals three. So it's A times three squared which is 9, so 9a, 3 times b, b times 3 is 3b, and a c by itself. So that's the first three terms of the sequence. I'm then going to look at the differences between them. So the first difference in here, so the difference between these first two terms, so 4a take away 1a, that's 3a, 2b take away 1b is 1b, and C take away C is nothing. Then the difference between the third and second term, 9A take away 4A is 5A, 3B take away 2B is 1B, and C take away C is nothing again. And the second difference, so the difference between the differences, 5A take away 3A is 2A, and B take away B is nothing. So we're gonna use this to find the nth term of the sequence in this form. So we're going to do that by saying that the third term, I mean the second difference, the second difference down here is always going to be 2a. The difference between the first two is always going to be 3a plus b and the first term is always going to be a plus b plus c. So we're going to use these three, it'll be three equations every time to work out the nth term of the sequence. Now let me show you an example of that. So this is what we just worked out. It's going to be in that form. So we're going to work out the first difference. The first difference first. So 11 take away 3. 11 take away 3 is 8. 21 take away 11 is 10. 33 take away 21 is 12. And 47 take away 33 is 14. And then the second difference, they're all 2. The second difference will always be the same in a quadratic sequence. So the second difference will always be um, the same number every time. So it could be 2, 2, 2, or it could be 4, 4, 4, or 5, 5, 5. But the second difference will remain constant. So we've got 2a, and that is this number here. So that 2 is going to be worth 2a's. 3a plus b is going to be this one. That's going to be, that 8 is going to be worth 3a plus b. And the 3 here is going to be a plus b plus c. And so we're going to use these, we're going to make some equations and then we're going to work them out. So we're going to work out what is A, what is B, what is C. So 2A is equal to 2. 2A is, is 2. They're the same thing. 2A equals 2. What's A got to be? Well, A's got to be 1 because 2 times 1 is 2. Um, and then we can use this to go up to the next one. So the equation is 3A plus B equals 8. A is worth 1. So 3 1's plus b equals 8. So that's 3 plus b equals 8. Take away 3 from both sides. So b is equal to 5. And then we're going to use a and b to go into the third equation. So a plus b plus c is equal to 3. a is 1. b is 5. Plus c equals 3. So that's 6 plus c equals 3. Take away 6 from both sides. C is negative 3. So that leaves us with 
a n squared. Remember the it was always going to be a n squared, b n, and c. So that is one n squared. You don't need to write the one because um, one times n squared is the same as n squared by itself. Five n, so plus five n plus c. C is minus three, so minus three. That is the nth term of this sequence. Okay, so here we have a different quadratic sequence. Uh, we're going to find the nth term again. So the first step is to work out the first difference. 7 take away 1 is 6. 17 take away 7 is 10. 31 take away 17 is 14. And 49 take away 31 is 18. The second step is, work, is to work out the second difference. So the difference between 6 and 10 is 4. 10 and 14 is 4. And 14 and 18 is 4 again. And then we label it. So this 4 is worth 2a. 6 here is worth 3a plus a b. And this 1 is going to be worth a plus b plus c. So let's look at the first equation. 2a is equal 4. Dividing both sides by 2, a equals 2. So our a is going to be 2 for this one. We've got the second equation, so 3a's plus a b is equal to 6. a is now 2, so 3 2's plus b equals 6. That's 6 plus b equals 6. Take away 6 from both sides. b is 0, so b equals nothing this time. And then a plus b plus c, so a plus b plus c is equal to 1. Uh, a is 2, b is 0. So 2 plus c equals 1. Take away 2 from both sides. c is minus 1. So remember the form was a n squared plus b n plus c. Uh, a is 2, so it's 2 n squared. b is 0, so we've got no n's. And c is minus 1. So the nth term is 2 n squared minus 1. Okay, here's two for you to try, so pause the video and give them a go. Okay, so the first one here, so we're going to do the first difference, which is 4, 6, 8, 10. And the second difference is 2, 2, 2. So we're going to label 2a, 3a's plus b, and a plus b plus c. So our first equation, 2a equals 2, so a must be 1. Second equation, we've got 3a plus b equals 4. a is now 1, so 3, 1 plus b equals 4. That's 3 plus b equals 4. Take away 3 from both sides, b equals 1. And the third equation, a plus b plus c is equal to 9. So it's 1 plus 1 plus c equals 9. 2 plus c equals 9. Take away 2 from both sides. c is 7. So that leaves us with 1n squared plus 1n plus 7. And this sequence down here. So the first difference first. So 3, 6, 9, 12. Second difference, 3, 3, 3. So this is 2a, 3a plus b, and a plus b plus c. So 2a's equal 3 this time, 2a's equal 3. Dividing both sides by 2, a must be 1.5. So 3 over 2 or 1.5, so a is 1.5. And then we've got 3a's plus a b equals 3. That's 3 1.5's plus a b equals 3. Uh, 3 1.5's, that's 4.5. So 4.5 plus b is 3. Taking away 4.5 from both sides, b is minus 1.5. And then we've got a plus b plus c, a plus b plus c is equal to 7. 
Uh, so that's 1.5, take away 1.5, so that's going to be 0, plus c equals 7, so 0 plus c equals 7, c is 7. So that's 1.5n squared minus 1.5n's plus 7.